Hello and uh, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we look at cyber laws and in this case in the previous we have just been able to look at the key pillars of a cyber law like what are some of the contents that need to be built within the cyber law and now we look at the practice and application of the cyber law. Assuming that governments and states were successful and actually assuming that the United Nations was able to be successful to create a cyber law to regulate and control how the internet is being used all over the world so that it can be able to allow people or enhance the application and the use of the internet for the welfare and the development of the society. It may be by e-commerce, by learning, by research and development. So these are the kind of things, entertainment, communication, and the social media, talent development. So a cyber law should be able to be developed to enhance this without also limiting the personal use of the internet and protecting, identifying hackers. So in practice, what should a cyber law look like? So if a cyber law is going to be able to be developed that serves and uh, protects the interest of all stakeholders within the internet, it should be able to identify acceptable standards when using the internet within the society and the users should, it should also have sanctions and punishments against cyber offenders. These are people who are violating uh, the privacy, hackers, all this, the cyber law should also be able be very clear that this is the kind of punishment that will be happen in case you become a cyber offender. It should also protect uh, ICT users and reduce the harm to people, data system, and the infrastructure. I remember clearly that probably in a previous lesson we have learned about networking. So that is a data structure whereby the internets are interconnected. Any person who is getting in between the interconnection and communication of uh, computers that will be violating the data structure. So that is some more. And then still there should be more substantive law. A law that attempts to define what is the crime, what happened, so that people who are becoming abusers of the internet can be nailed down and let the internet continue working for the welfare of the society by defining and uh, including what persons and substantive will be a little bit much more detailed to cover that so the practice and application of cyber law so those are some of the contents that should be able to be included in that registration even in the case when judges are reading cases about cyber law they should be able to consider and promote and enhance these matters so cyber Cyber law, procedural law. Once a person has violated the substantive law, the procedures, like we have seen before, they are violators of the... Then there should be a clear process about how registration and justice should be served, which court they should attend to, how much time this they should spend in the court, what is their fine, what is the kind of benefit that will be received by the wrong party, will the procedure be itself a problem so that is the procedural law the crimes of cyber crimes should also be classified these are serious cyber law crimes this is the kind of punishment so that kind of law should also be able to cover and provide a source of evidence what is the kind of evidence that is needed before conviction so preventative laws also should be put there to make sure that even before the crime is uh, committed, then there is a lot of preventative law to put about fines, to make sure that people are not engaging in cyber crime. They are aware that there is a law. So those are all preventative laws that will attempt to reduce the damage that may be able to occur. So in a practice, then that is the how in theory, but just to mention some or so many organizations Despite the internet being a moving target, so many countries have, been atte have attempted to develop cyber laws which are actually helping and bringing about integrity in the application of the internet. With this, i just like to ask you, from your country, do you have a cyber law? What does it say? How does it impact? How does it benefit the user of the internet? Is it effective? Is it not? What needs to be updated in light of the 
new dynamics of the internet so those are some of the continuous registrations that should be enhanced just to make sure that the integrity and application of the internet is upheld and is only for the enhancing the welfare of the society thank you